Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to wrap PLSQL code. Now, what is PLSQL? PLSQL stands for Procedural Language Slash Structured Query Language. And we all know that Structured Query Language, SQL, is a standard among many uh, RDBMS, Relational Database Management System Software products, that allow you to communicate with the with the database. So it doesn't matter if you're using DB2, MySQL, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, uh, Derby, or whatever database you're talking to, uh, you're using some form of SQL and in some standard to communicate with the database, to modify data, to retrieve data, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, Oracle has developed a proprietary extension on top of it called PLSQL which is basically allows you to create applications and programs whose source code resides in the Oracle database itself, in the data dictionary. Now, it can reside out external to the database as well, called anonymous blocks, okay, um, or it can reside inside in named blocks, okay? Uh, but we won't get too much into that. There's plenty of PLSQL videos out here on YouTube, so check them out uh, on my channel. Okay, so what is the process of wrapping WR... A-P-P-I-N-G. Well, when you wrap PLSQL code, what you're doing is you're um, hiding the contents of it. Con sort of like compiling it in a way. Okay, where you can't, you ever, uh, if you ever programmed in another language like Java or C or C++ or something like that, when you compile a program and you try to view the contents of that of that file, that executable, you can't really read it anymore because it's in a language that the processor, your computer, can understand now. It's not in the syntax format of the programming language, which is made for humans to understand. Okay, same type of thing with this, but it's not it's not converted into like machine language. It's converted. It's it's abstracted, is what it is. It's it's hidden. Okay. Okay, what what when you wrap PLSQL code up, you're obfuscating it. Okay, there's a word called obfuscate, and what that means is that you're making it unintelligible. Okay, you're making it be bewildered, if you will. You're making it hard to understand. Okay, so uh, the best way to understand it really is to just show you as an example of wrapping. And this is a basic example. There's a lot of ways to wrap PL. Well, two ways, but to wrap PLSQL code. But I'm, I'm going to show you a basic way here. Okay. Um, I have an Oracle database, uh, 11, 11 G release two database running on this uh, Windows Seven server, and it's called Finance, and it's up and running. First thing we're going to do is set the variable Oracle SID to Finance, and we're going to ensure that the Oracle SID variable is set, which it is. So the Oracle SID variable has a value of Finance, and we're going to connect to our Oracle database via SQL Plus. Okay, we got our SQL prompt. Now we're going to type in show user to ensure that we're connected via the DBA user, which we are, user assist. And we're going to type in select name from V$ database to ensure we're connected to the finance database, which we are. Now we're going to create, there's many different objects in an Oracle database that use PLSQL code, triggers, functions, uh, packages, things like that. But we're going to use we're going to create something called a procedure, okay? Which is like a simple little program in an Oracle database, if you will, okay? Whose source code is kept in the data dictionary in a database itself, okay? So we're going to create a little procedure, and uh, it's going to be real simple. It's just going to spit out the uh, it's just going to spit out the line "Hello World," the string "Hello World." That's all it's going to do, okay? So to create a procedure, you type in create or replace procedure. Hello world, we'll call it, as, now this isn't a PLSQL uh, video, so I'm not going to get into the details of the code here, um, I do have uh, PLSQL 101 videos out here, so definitely check them out. Create or replace procedure, hello world, as, and we're going to begin our PLSQL program, dbms underscore output dot put underscore line, hello world, what we want the program to say will display on the screen and semicolon forward slash procedure created okay so we just created a program here a PLSQL program and this is the source code of it that's going to display on the screen hello world okay and it's gonna be 
it, the, the source code is going to reside in the Oracle database and execute in the Oracle database. Okay. So if we type in select object underscore name from DBA underscore objects, where object underscore name is equal to hello world, we will see that there is a database object now called hello world. Okay. And if we say select text from DBA underscore source, DBA underscore source is uh, where the source code is kept. So source where name is equal to hello world. Okay, so again, it's select text from DBA underscore source where name equals hello world. We will see our source code as it's stored in the database, the source code that we entered up here. Okay, all this here, our PLSQL program, we will see the source code as seen in the Oracle database. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to execute this program. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to set the SQL option uh, server output. So set server output on because we want uh, the, the database to return to us uh, any type of output that it needs to display. Oops. Okay. Now we go ahead and we execute our hello world procedure by using the exec statement and then the name of the procedure. And there it is. Hello world and three explanation points just like you see here. And then it says PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Okay, so that's that's the basic on how to create a procedure, which I have a video out there as well on how to do that and how to execute it. And as you can see, the source code's in plain view. You can see it. So anyone can log into your database, execute your, your PLSQL applications, and see the source code if they wanted to, if they weren't wrapped. Okay. Now, let's say that your source code, your PLSQL program, had a lot of proprietary business logic in it, okay, and uh, confidential business logic in it, and you wanted to protect this intellectual property, okay, well, you can do that if you wrap the code, okay, now, obviously, this doesn't contain any intellectual property, but there could be something that does, okay, so, let's go ahead and let's drop this procedure, drop procedure, hello world, like so, and we do another select object name from DBA objects where object name equals hello world and we will see no rows selected because it couldn't find a procedure we, we deleted it draw procedure hello world okay so now what I want you to do is I want you to quit out SQL plus and open up and fire up notepad and open up a file uh, create a new file and we'll call it hello world dot SQL it doesn't matter what it's called here it just has to have the SQL extension Okay, yes, create a new file. And uh, what we want to do here in our notepad file is we want to we want to input the exact same commands that we did in um, the same commands that we did in uh, SQL when we in our SQL screen when we created this PL, this procedure. Okay, see, create or replace procedure hello world as begin dbms output put line hello world and forward slash we want to do the same thing in this file okay so let's go to our file here and let's let's rewrite that code create or just like you're in sql plus or replace procedure hello world as begin dbms underscore output dot put underscore line hello there, make it a little different, okay, and semicolon forward slash. So create or replace procedure, hello world, as begin, dbms underscore output dot put underscore line, hello there, and forward slash. Okay. Okay, we're going to ensure that our file is there. And we're going to view the contents of it. And there it is, our source code. Now, to wrap it, you're going to use a... You're going to use a... a uh, 
utility that comes with the Oracle database software. It's installed under Oracle Home Bin called Wrap. Okay, and how you use it is is like so. You type in Wrap I name for input name. Okay, the file that you want to wrap called Hello World dot SQL O name. Okay, out name equals Hello World dot plb and plb is a um, standard for code that's been wrapped okay and we see plsql wrapper release blah blah blah, blah process in hello world to hello world dot plb okay so now when we do dir hello world dot plb we will see that the file has been created and now we're going to attempt to view the contents of hello world.plb and it's just as if you were to attempt to to view the contents of an executable like the dir.exe uh, command in windows or the ls executable in unix or linux systems okay you may get some annoying beeps and stuff because it's a lot of machine language and ascii text but this is sort of the same way as you can see it says create or replace procedure hello world but then you have some language here that you really don't understand. But the PLSQL processor, the compiler in the Oracle database, does understand it. But the source code's protected. You don't know what the, what the source code is. So now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, what the heck? I, how am I supposed to run this? Okay, how is Oracle supposed to understand this? Don't worry. PLSQ, the PLSQL engine in Oracle does understand it. So log back in the S, uh, SQL Plus. And we execute that file. Okay. So even though hello world dot the file hello world dot plb has nothing but what looks to be uh, garbage gibberish to us humans here, it's all compiled code, if you will, wrapped code. The PLSQL processor will know what it is and what to do with it. See, so we executed the contents of this. It said procedure created. And we do select object underscore name from DBA objects where object name is equal to hello world. We will see that there is a, a an object called hello world. And if we type in select text from DBA underscore source where name is equal to hello world. Okay, we will see that it's the same thing just like when we viewed the contents of the file in a file system. It's a bunch of gibberish that we, us humans, don't understand. It's wrapped or compiled code, whatever you want to call it. But you can go ahead and do execute hello world. Just well, first let's set server output oops, on. And now you can do execute hello world like so. Oops, sorry. Hello world. And it says, hello there, PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Even though the contents, the, the source code is crap, okay? Well, crap to us. I have a bad, bad choice of words, but you know, we don't understand it. It's all uh, gibberish, okay? And all nonsense. It doesn't matter to Oracle, okay? Oracle, if I hit the right one, sorry, executes it every time no problem even though it looks like this okay and this is very helpful for when you want to protect your intellectual property okay some people use PLSQL typically your scenario with an Oracle database is you have a Java front-end program or Java on a middle tier uh, middleware server or a C program that communicates with uh, an Oracle database via a driver, whether it's a JDBC driver, an ODBC driver, or something like that. Okay, but some people actually store all their application code in the database itself for performance reasons, for uh, for network for, for for network load reasons, and there's just there's just a lot of reasons why why a lot of developers will do that. Okay, and I've seen that. How oh parts of the program will be in Oracle, but you know, so but if you ever do that. Some PLSQL applications, especially programs that run your business, can be hundreds, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of lines long, of code long. And a lot of algorithms and a lot of procedures and a lot of uh, things that are not only 
not only uh, proprietary and confidential to your business, but maybe it's something that technically you want to protect. It's how you do it, and you don't want anyone else stealing your ideas. Okay? So, that's how you do it. It's a good way to protect intellectual property and a good security measure. Now, can you decode it? I don't think Oracle wants me to really tell you this, but yeah, yeah. There, there's ways that you can uh, see what it actually says and decode it, but it's, it's not easy, but it's uh, not impossible uh, either. Okay? That's how you wrap PLSQL code.